My name is Glenn Dawes. Um, I work at James Cook University. I've been here now for over 22 years. I teach and research in the areas of sociology and criminology. I used to be a teacher once, and when I taught in primary schools, I, was, I taught for eight years in a lot of uh, community schools, a lot of Indigenous schools. So as a result of that, I began to understand some of the challenges faced by Indigenous young people. And later on, as I went through my degrees, I developed an interest in educational disadvantage amongst Indigenous students. And as part and parcel of that, of doing that research with the young people, I started to see uh, that young people were getting in trouble with crime. So I started doing a variety of studies around that. And uh, I was one of the first people in the world to do a study on Indigenous young people and car crime. Um, I've also done a lot of focus work on Indigenous young people and school disadvantage, uh, truancy issues, and basically around trying to develop policies which will affect young people, particularly when they come out of detention. My work is like what they call applied research. And applied research means you go out and do it and you speak to people. Um, I interview mainly, we call that qualitative research. So I like to know about the lived experiences of people who are actually out there in the community. I'm very community focused. I believe the university is part of the community. And as a result of that, we should be in the community as much as we can. A few years ago, I did a big study in Townsville around reintegration. What happens to young Indigenous offenders when they come out of Cleveland Detention Centre? And we found out uh, that not a lot is going on. And one of the really big areas that um, we noticed was that young people tended to recommit crimes if they weren't connected around things like housing. And for three years, we now we have fought very hard and I've worked as a recommendation to get some form of housing in place for young offenders who are potentially homeless when they leave Cleveland. And we have succeeded and that has actually now borne fruit uh, with a place called Mission Australia, who are well known for dealing with homelessness, who have a home here right now as we speak, which is now waiting for refunding, uh, but has worked now successfully for three years in taking in cohorts of young people, um, giving them a home for six months, and basically getting them set for the next part of their journey so they don't reoffend. And that's been a very successful program. JCU is a friendly environment. Uh, if you go to other universities, you don't get that friendly environment um, like you do at JCU. It's a tropical university. Uh, people speak to each other in first name terms. Uh, they have a relaxed attitude. Staff have a relaxed attitude towards students. And I think for a potentially new student, it's a great environment to work in, uh, to study in, and to make important networks of friends as well. In our faculty now, we're making real efforts to, to distinguish ourselves from other universities. Uh, we have a tropical university, as everybody knows, but now we're making more experiences for students outside of the country. So we now have links to places like India, to Thailand, uh, Thai, um, sorry, and Cambodia, which I've been working in recently. So groups of students can actually use that as part of their studies, travel there, do some relevant research, and also have that cross-cultural experience. The good, the good thing about social sciences uh, in particular is that there is no name degree. Um, we don't turn out, for instance, a person who does psychology will turn out a psychologist. Uh, we dwell on the fact that uh, social sciences and art students have a much broader base, um, and as a result of that, have a variety of jobs at their, uh, uh, at their disposal before they leave. So we see people working in government, in private enterprise. What we try and do in a lot of our subjects is to ensure the students at least link up or are aware of um, employment opportunities before they graduate. And we have another, sub another subjects which do that. In criminology, in our third year subject, we have group-placed projects where students actually go out as a group and work in an organisation and do a project. And that has resulted in some cases students actually linking up and finding a job before they graduate. The other thing I do as well, because of the currency of the kind of things we talk about in, for instance, youth justice areas, is we bring a lot of people in from the community who come and talk. So they get to talk to police people. They get to talk to youth workers who work at Cleveland Detention Centre. Uh, and, and they get to talk to magistrates. So they also hear firsthand the views of what it's like at the coalface, which means um, they have an insight into the relevancy of what's going on how policy is Im impacted and how it's played out, but also what the kind of job they may potentially think about getting as well. We have various modes of delivery now because a lot of students can't attend on campus. So many lecturers now use a, an area on um, the site called Learn JCU. Uh, this is a very practical um, area where students can, lecturers can download subject materials, can do assessment online, uh, can speak to their students directly, make announcements, and most lecturers use that. Uh, it's an advantage for students who, for instance, putting lecture notes up before the lecture so they can read them and then they can come to the lecture and actually listen more than take notes, which I think is an important thing. Um, we have some very important programs such as the uh, Remote Area Teacher Education Program, RATEP, which trains Indigenous um, 
potential teachers, which has been which has won national awards. So there are various um, ways that people can study here without actually having to do face-to-face -face interaction. But I would say to all students in first year, come in and try things that you're interested in um, and enjoy it above all and enjoy the experience. And I think that's the critical thing for first year. Um, get to know the place and get to know what you like.